Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Here we're going to discuss further into differential equations and now look at further into the logistic equation and go over example four of the video series. And again, the logistic equation is just a more advanced model for population growth. And in this example, we'll look at the analytics solution as opposed to the other uh, graphical and um, and Euler estimation uh, videos I went over in my last video on the same uh, logistic equation example here. So examples one, two, and three all use the same equation, but just analyzing it differently. In this video, we'll look at the analytic solution of it. So the example states: write the solution of the initial value problem. Uh, dp over dt equals to 0.08p times 1 minus p over 1000 where the initial value or initial population is 100 and we're asked and use this solution to find the population size is p of 40 and p of 80 in other words that population at time is 40 and times 80 and also as at what time does the population reach 900 so first thing we're going to do is well recall from my last video the solution which I derived the explicit solution or the analytic solution of the uh, logistic equation so basically recall basically if if we have the logistic equation dp over dt equals to lowercase k which is the proportionality constant times 1 over p over a th uh, not a thousand this is just capital K like that for the carrying capacity and we're also given let's say P of 0 equals to P 0 yeah P 0 the initial value is that if if we have this log logistic equation initial value problem yeah then in my last video I derived that the solution to it P of T is equal to yeah, is equal to the carrying capacity K which was this one 1 plus a e power of negative k t where that's the uh, lowercase k and then uh, and where a is equal to let's write I'll write this here a equals to k uh, carrying capacity minus p zero over p of zero or initial value like that. So again, I derived this in my last video, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already done so. So now in our case, let's plug in our values. Our values are lowercase k is 0 0.08, carrying capacity is 1000, and p0 is, is 100. So in our case, we have k is equal to 0 0.08, capital K is equal to 1000, and then p of 0 is equal to 100. Yeah, so from this we can solve first our a value, a equals to uh, k, which is 1000, minus p0, which is 100, all over p0, which is 100, so this equals to 900, 1000 minus 100 is 900, divided by 100, which just cancels out, this just equals to 9. So now plugging this in, we get p of t equals 2, and now we're plugging it, so 1000 is k, so we have... 1000 over 1 plus 9, so the a is 9, e negative 0 0.08t. And that's where our lowercase k is that. So plug those all in, we get the solution, and this is the solution to that um, uh, initial value problem. And now so that we have the, solu the solution, now let's use it to find the population size p40 and p of 80. So what we have is uh, this one p of 40 is equal to well just we just got to plug that in so 1000 uh, write that bit neater 0 0 0 over 1 plus 9 e to the negative 0 0.08 and now we have 40 here and now if we plug this into the calculator what we get is so we'll have it plugged in right here just plug this into the google search calculator so 1,000 divided by 1 plus 9e e to the negative 0 0.08 times 40, and we get 731.6. So I'll just, uh, and it keeps going on, I'll just round it up to 731.6, like that. So that is our answer for P of 40, and likewise P of 80, uh, this equals 2, like that neater, 1000 over 1 plus 9e e, negative point zero 0.08 and now we plug in 80 and again plug this into the calculator let's just switch this with 80 
Enter. And now we get 985.26. And I'll 266. I'll round that up to 985.3. So just round that upwards to that. And now as a way to check our answer, as I explained in, in examples 1, 2, and 3, all use the same uh, initial value problem, but just different methods of analyzing it. And so what we're going to do is recall from example, uh, the, the last the last example video, example 3, where we looked at the Euler estimates of this solution. Euler's uh, estimates, I'll just write Euler estimates, for uh, P40 and P of 80. So let's pull that up. I think that's uh, over here. So that's this right here. So this is uh, yeah the example three Euler's method, etc. We just go there, and now for the step size twenty. Actually, I'll skip all the way here. So these were the solutions, the most uh, accurate solutions uh, for that video using Euler's estimates of a P of eighty was nine eight five, and P of forty was seven three one. So seven three one. 985. So Euler's estimate we have P of 40 is roughly equal to uh, 731, and then P of 40, I mean P of 80, is equal to 985. And yeah, so those estimates were pretty accurate right here. So we have 731.6, 985.3, and these are still close to 731.985. Five. So those are, uh, yeah, so this did double check our Euler estimates. Those are pretty accurate. And now let's go to the last part of the question, and that's here. At what time does a population reach 900? In other words, what we want is find t uh, as basically such that, such that p of t is equal to 900. So we just equate that, so 900 equals to p of t and p of t is uh, is just equal to this so 1000 1000 over 1 plus 9 e negative point zero eight t and now we've got to solve for t so what i'm going to do here is divide both sides by 900 in other words i'm going to move 900 onto this side and i'm going to move this whole fraction at the bottom denominator on to this side so i'm going to move this over uh, over there uh, so we're just going to switch those around. What we get is 1 plus 9e negative point zero eight t equals to 1,000 over 900. And now going uh, further than this, this just cancels out. This is just 10 over 9. So this cancels these zeros like that. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract both sides by 1 to get rid of this out and then divide both sides by 9 to get rid of this out. So I'm going to get rid of these two, move it over. So what we get is on the right side will be 10 over 9 minus 1 all divided by 9 like that. And then on the right side this all just cancels. So e negative point zero eight t. And then on uh, this side we could simplify this further by well putting common denominator here. So multiplying by 9 over 9 so that we have 10 minus 9 over 9, and there's another 9 over here. Let's put that multiplied by that. So 9, so we're dividing by 9 twice here. So I'll, for, for example, I'll just put this, let's make it simpler. So we have this one common denominator, and then we all divide by 9. It's the same thing as writing, and now the, the same thing as writing 9 divided by 9 twice. So what we get is 10 over 9, that's 1 over 9 times 9, bring that over, equals 2, 1 over 80. One, like that. So what we get is, is yeah, what we get is e negative point zero eight t. Uh, and I'm uh, what I'm going to do uh, is it, it is uh, just flip those around. This is the same thing as writing. Yeah, same thing as writing. Uh, this is uh, one over e to to the positive point zero eight. Just to make it get rid of that negative sign. This equals like that. I'll just make this a bit neater, move this up. Oops. So now that we have this, I'm going to multiply both sides by e1 and then multiply both sides by e, e to the power of 0 0.08t just to flip them around. So the same thing as writing um, 81 or, or just flip it the other way, uh, e 0.08t equals to 81. 
so we just move them crisscross around and now uh, now that it's super simple flied we'll take the lawn of both sides let's move this over so that we're not changing anything so we can bring this down using the log properties and again you can learn more about natural log and regular log properties um, uh, in my earlier videos put the link below so now this 0.08t goes down and this lawn e cancels because the same base that's less log based e so we get 0.08t equals to lawn 81 and then we just divide both sides by 0 0.08 so we get t equals to lawn 81 over 0 0.08 and there is our answer and now if we plug this into the calculator here's the google search calculator again lawn 81 over 0 0.08 we get about 54.93 etc and just round it up uh, just to round it now 54.9 roughly so yes yeah, so now as a check of our work we could just uh, graph it out so here I just put this in a Google uh, search calculator as well if you type that in it also searches it uh, the search uh, Google search also graphs it out which is pretty cool so anyways we have this and uh, this equation, I mean, yes, yeah, so we have this. Uh, so this equation in, in the blue, that's this 1,000 over 1 plus 9e to, neg to the power of negative uh, 0.08t. That's just our logistic, uh, uh, our uh, analytics solution. And then y equals uh, 900. I couldn't put p. So this one is just same thing as p equals to 900. That's the red line. So here is our solution. And uh, this only thing that matters is past the zero we can have a negative time so anyways this is time this is population and now what we have is uh, this line across here is our p equals to 900 it's just a way to double check and then if you look at the exact time here this is uh, approaching let's say this is by 252 54 this is actually near the middle so this is about 55. So here is T is 55, which is a good check of our 54.9. And also another thing uh, interesting about this, if you draw the line across here at the uh, 1,000, at the population is 1,000, that's our carrying capacity. Here, K equals to 1,000. And then as you can see, this is approaching closer and closer to it. Anyways, that is all for today uh, hopefully you learn about this pretty uh, pretty interesting uh, video on how to go over uh, solving the population uh, using this analytic solution to the logistic equation which is a decent model for population and in the later videos I'll go over a comparison uh, with the logistic equation and the simpler natural uh, growth uh, model for population size and just to see the comparison Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learn and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.